guys, so today I'm doing my what's in my makeup bag, and this has been, like, uh, the last video that I posted was over weeks and weeks of product use, so this is brand new, one week worth of products, so it's not going to be as long, hopefully, as the other one, so let's go ahead and get so on So the first it. thing that I have is this Fiona Styles Artist Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I think this is still available on the website on Ulta's website, but I'm not sure. Um, I got this during like the 21 days of beauty sale and it's in and out of stock. It was in and out of stock. So, um, it's a nice plum tone, um, really pretty palette. Um, I've used this whole, all the shades and I think they're so pretty. This top one here is so pigmented and even Tati was like raving about how good that shimmer shade was. Um, there's a lot of mattes and it looks like three, I'd say they're like satin shimmers. So this one, this one, and then down here in the corner. And then this one is very pigmented, very shimmery. Um, and as you can see, there's plum and brown. So a lot of neutrals, but I like it because it's a little bit deeper, but I think you can get such nice day looks out of it as well as some night looks too. So this was nice, and um, I used it in conjunction with other palettes so that I could use some of the darker shades and, um, you know, really darken up the outer corner and use it with my palettes that maybe don't have as dark shades like the next palette I'm going to show you. So I pulled out my Gwen Stefani palette from Urban Decay, and this palette is a lot of neutrals, as you can see, with a few pops of colors, but there's not a lot of deep, dark tones. So what I did was I paired this with the Fiona Styles palette and gave me some nice eye looks. So it's a lot of lighter colors, so I mixed some of these transition colors and everything. Um, and then I have my shimmers, but I went back to the Fiona Styles one for the outer corner and really deepened it up. Um, I really do like this palette. The only thing is this pop shade down here is just like a glitter bomb. I am going to try it with my fingers next time. I used it today on my eyes is what I, I have a combination of bath water, which is this shade here, and then pop on top of it um, to add like a nice extra glitter. But like I said, it's very shimmery. So I don't know. I mean, I love this palette. I just wish that that shade was better. And I don't really go for this black blackout. Uh, that much because I just don't use black shadows a lot. But other than that, I really do love this. I'm glad I picked it up and I love Gwen Stefani and this is no longer available. So I'm absolutely glad that I purchased it when it so was So next available. I have more eye palettes. Uh, this is the Pixie Plus It's Judy Time palette. This is, first of all, I'll say I don't know anything about It's Judy Time, but I saw this palette in at Target and I thought it just looked so pretty. It has some nice deep uh, like reddish tones and natural tones and the shades are huge. Now the price range of Pixie is just crazy in my opinion because I don't really know much about Pixie and their products and although this is like very big sizes, um, I feel like this was almost $30 and like for drugstore or you know Target's still drugstore this is $30? Like, I, I just don't know. Pixie to me doesn't have that reputation of like Too Faced or Urban Decay or whatever. So it's kind of like, why am I paying high prices for a product brand that I've never really heard about? So I don't know. Um, my boyfriend actually bought this for me. He offered to buy it, but I do like it. I'll say that. I do like this palette. Do I think it's worth the money? No. I would definitely rather have a palette from Urban Decay, Too Faced, Tarte um, for the price, but I did like this palette. So if you're if you like Pixie, you're looking for cruelty free, um, anything like that, then I'd say go for it. But if not, just skip it and go for something else. Or if you really like it's Judy time, like I said, I don't really know anything about her, but um, glad to support another YouTuber. And the weird thing is, I'll just point this out. It comes with a mirror that this mirror is just in the palette like when you open it up 
And she's like, hey, put this mirror wherever you want on your palette, which is kind of cool, right? So you put it on the, I put it on the back. You could put it on the front. Um, you could put it on the inside if you want. But it's like a fun house mirror. It's a straight up fun house mirror. Like I look into it right now and it's all kinds of warped and like there's no way that I would ever, ever, ever use this mirror to get ready. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's just like, there's my blinds. It's distorting it. It's just so weird. I, I just don't understand at all. So definitely not worth the price that it's uh, listed as, but I do think it's a good palette. Next up is the Carly Bible Deluxe Palette. I'm sure like everybody's heard about this. Uh, it's the new palette. I had to get it. I love the old one. So, or the original, I should say, but I, I love Carly. She's so sweet. And I wanted to support her and get this new one because let's be honest. I mean, I'm a collector. I'm a hoarder. I had to have it, but also because I love neutrals and this is a great neutral palette. And then you get six highlighters with it. I mean, that's just amazing. These uh, four here, the lighter ones are amazing. These two darker ones come off very pigmented. So you can mix them in with your bronzer to add a little bit of shimmer. Um, and then the eyeshadows, I absolutely have no complaints about. Um, they're very pigmented. So you have a pink one here and then like an orange shade here. Down here are all your neutrals. And then you have some plum tones in here. Very pretty. I use this an entire week. Um, recently and I loved it. I took this to graduation. I wore it on my graduation day because it gave me that nice natural look, but it was very pretty and the highlight actually really popped in the um, graduation picture. So I was thrilled with that. I, I had this one on here and um, I just really, really love this palette. I think it's worth it. The original one is on sale right now on Ulta's website. So if you're interested, I would definitely pick it up and also pick up this. There's some shades in the original that aren't in this one and then she added some new shades to this that weren't in the original so um do i think it's worth having both absolutely if you had to have one or the other i would go with this one personally um but love carly i would support anything she put out so absolutely love that i think it's definitely worth the money and bh cosmetics is very affordable so don't worry about spending your money i think it's it was like maybe $20 at the most for that. And I got it on pre-order. So, you know, I love it. Next up, I have the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. As soon as I opened this up, I could smell that vanilla, like chocolate scent, but look how gorgeous this palette is. So it has blues, greens, reds, browns. And in the middle, you have that highlight shade that you can use for anything. This is one matte, uh, transition color and myth. It's that very nice, caramely tone. Um, but I absolutely love this palette. It is that same formula as the rainforest of the sea palette. Um, the first and the second one. So it's that like different kind of texture. It's, um, I don't really know what it is. It's a, it's a very like smooth texture. Some of it, some of these shades are very glittery, but on the eyes, they come off so shimmery and so beautiful. I just really love it. And it's nice for summer because it has a lot of very pretty shades. I like those blues and greens for the summertime. Um, I just really love it. And I'm so happy that I picked this palette up. So if you're at all interested, I think it's worth it. And I just love these little palettes. And the design on the outside is so, so moving to so cheeks. Pretty. I had pulled out my e.l.f. Total Face Palette again. Um, this is a highlight, a bronzer, and then two blushes. I like the blushes because one is a coral and then one's um, like a more pink tone. And those are the colors that I go for all the time. And then you have your highlight up here and it looks very subtle. It looks really deep, first of all, and it's not a deep highlighter on the skin. It looks um, very subtle, but when you have it on, it's very, very pretty. It's nice for an everyday, so it's job appropriate. And um, the bronzer is just very pretty also. It gives you a nice tan look without being too deep and I just really love that and I think it's like six bucks six or eight dollars for that so definitely worth the price then I tried the elevation mini highlighter palette from pure uh, cosmetics and you get three highlighters in here you have um, a gold champagne and then you have this one here which is like a marble 
but it comes off so pretty on the skin. It comes off a real light color and it's just very, very pretty. And then you have a deeper um, orangey, almost red, but on the skin it just looks very pretty and I love this. I think this little mini palette is great and it's great for traveling and I just really love it. Then I also pulled out my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani cheek palette. Um, as you can see, there's two pink blushes here. This is like a candy pink, and then you have a deeper pink. And then Angel, which is a nice golden highlighter. Uh, you have OC, which is a coral blush. Hush, um, which is a kind of a highlighter, maybe a blush topper. It's like a reddish pink shade. And then over here, you have Lo-Fi, which is a deeper brownish tone. You could use as a bronzer, maybe. You could use it on the cheeks for a nice, deep uh, blush. I really like all of these shades and I got a lot of good use out of it. Um, I just love it. I haven't used it a whole lot just because I have so much, but definitely glad I pulled this little palette out again. And then I also have this um, Hourglass Illumi Sheer Color Trio. This is in Sunset. I believe this is the only one, but it has the name Sunset on the back. So you get your contour or bronzer blush and highlight and this is a cream um, palette and as much as I don't like creams I'm not a I wouldn't say I don't like creams I'm just not a cream product person normally um, I really like this so it was super easy to use super blendable and if you have to buy creams of some sort I would recommend this because you get three products in one the highlight is amazing it is stunning it is so beautiful the blush is a nice, pretty color that you could wear every day. It's going to look nice in the summer, nice in the fall. And then this bronzer or contour, whatever you want to use it as. I use it as a contour, and it was a very pretty shade. But you could definitely use it as a bronzer. And I think it's just a pretty in-between shade. So it's not too cool, not too warm. I think it's just very pretty. And I don't hear a lot about this, but it's a great little palette from Hourglass. And, um, oh, I found one eyeshadow that I used this week. This is the Liquid Metal eyeshadow from Catrice in Satina Vanderwoodson and this is like a champagne gold shade is very pretty very pigmented on the um, eyes I use this as a lid color not today but I used it before and it's just so pretty I love it um, definitely worth the price I think these are like five or six dollars um, I really do love it so I think that's a nice little um, single shadow. Then I have this Fiona Styles Creamy Longwear Lip Contouring Pencil. This is in Donna Amelia. This is a nice nude shade. Um, so it was very pretty and I paired it with um, my NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Unlaced, which is a more pink shade. It's very pink, <laughs> more pink. I thought it was going to be more of a nude, but it is more of a straight up pink so I paired the two together and then this came off a little bit more subdued, which was nice. So I put this around my lips and then I filled in my lips and then I put this on top and I thought it looked really pretty. These lip glides are amazing. I need to get more shades. Um, they're not a matte liquid lip, but they just last forever. So I really do love them. They're so comfortable. They don't dry down on your lips. It's just a very nice formula. And then I have this Buxom, um, this full on lip polish in the shade Emma. And this is a white, but it has that duochrome pink and green to it. So it just looks very pretty. It makes your lips look fuller because of that shine and that shimmer in it. And I just love these Buxom glosses. This does have that minty tingle and scent. And it's not, um, it's not a plumping feeling where it's like stinging. It's like a cooling sensation on your lips. So I really like that. And then the last two lips I have are these NYX lip lingeries in the shade Silk Indulgence, which is a nice pink shade and it's almost like a coral. And then Bustier, which is a darker brown and almost like a um, purpley shade, like a mauve on the lips. So. I really like the lip lingeries. I know they get mixed reviews. Some people don't like them. They do dry down very matte, but they stay for hours and they're very hard to get off your lips unless you eat something oily or you remove it with a makeup wipe, whatever. Um, 
I like these because I know they're going to stick around all day. They do like get that line here on me after a while. So that's the only thing, but they can be touched up with no problems. When that starts to fade in here, I just go over with a nice, um, another layer and it does smooth out nice and neat. And I wouldn't recommend putting it on and smacking your lips together. So I take the wand and I go up both of my top, you know, one side of my top lip and the other side of my top lip. Then I go down the bottom and I don't mix it together like that. I don't like press my lips together. I just let it kind of dry on its own and then it looks very pretty. Also, I find that if you put like the Silk Indulgent shade, for example, is lighter. So if you put that on and you can see like through it, I like to take my finger and just kind of smear it out um, and make it even that way instead of taking the wand over and over and then you get those streaks. Um, just taking your finger and kind of smoothing it out that way seems to help more. So that's a trick that so I think So for way. next week, I'm going to be adding in a few new things. I'm going to keep my face makeup the same and maybe next week I'll go through that, what I've been using. Um, but all of that's going to stay the same. I am adding this Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in Hot Spice. And this one is a lot of corals, um, some, some, per, um, not purples, some pinks. And then it has two shimmery pink shades here on the end. These are the type of blushes that I like because they're nice summery shades. And I just love that coral light color on the cheeks. So I'm going to add that in for next week. For highlighters, I'm going to add two Becca highlighters. I'm going to use the Shimmering Skin Perfector Press in Pearl. And that is the white one, so I'm going to be using that some. And then I'm also going to be using the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Gold, which was a limited edition for a holiday a couple years ago. And it has that like pattern in it, so I think that's what they use when they have the limited edition ones. Um, this comes off very gold on the skin, so I think it's going to be nice for like more dramatic looks and more bold looks. So I'm, I haven't used this that much, so I want to get back into using that. So I have those two highlighters, and as far as eyeshadows, I am working on my Z palette that I have that I customized. And this is a combination of Makeup Geek and Itzy shadows. So right now I have them separated as these are the ones I've already used and these are the ones that I need to use. Um, so I bought these a while ago and I just am really bad with using single shadows because I always want to pull for a palette. But I want to try them all and see what I like and what I don't like and then recommend or not recommend them to you based on that. So... I have a lot of like nice and neutral shades, as you can tell, some orange shades, some deeper shades here. So uh, I think I can make some good looks out of them. I just have to actually use it. So I'm going to be using that this upcoming week. Also, I have two other palettes that I want to try to dip into. And I think some of this will come in a good combination with that palette because I don't have a lot of lighter colors. So all over the lid to set uh, my shadow primer and some transition shades possibly so i'm gonna go into my urban decay naked palette i got this last year so this is pretty new to me um but i mean we all know the naked palette it's just so pretty it's such an easy palette to go to every day because like they're all neutrals and they're just so pretty so i'm gonna go back to that and i'm also going to be using my Lorac. Pro Mega Pro 3. I have not touched this. I bought this at, um, actually I bought this on Black Friday and I haven't touched it since. So I need to dip into it and see what I think because I was so excited to get this. I mean, look at it. It's like my dream. It is all neutrals and very pretty mix of warm and cool. And I just really am excited. I know there's some mixed reviews about this also. So I don't want to have spent all that money for a palette that I'm not going to use, so I need to start using it. So that's that, and I think that is it. That's all I have to update you with. Like I said, next week I will go through and show you my base products that I've been using recently, 
have I been loving them? Have I been hating them? Whatever. And then, um, yeah, we'll go from there and see what I thought about all these products that I just showed you. So I hope you guys are having a good week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.